Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2023 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here on Monday, July the 10th, 2023, pick your team 10. Most of the teams picked up straight up, but we did do a quick little giveaway break. That capstone pack number 35 gave away the remaining teams. Got this break across the finish line. Ed with the Phillies. Last ball mojo. Star next to his name. 70% of the time, last ball at Mojo hits 100% of the time. Allegedly. So they say, according to rumor. All right, this finest has been pretty nice. Chris Jaspi earlier today, uh, Discovered a, uh, I think what they call a golden treasure box. Where I, I'm pretty sure every single card in the box is numbered to 50. And the autos are numbered to 10 or something like that. Some people have done, a, uh, I've not corroborated this, but people who have done more research than I have claimed that, that falls about one every 100 boxes or so. And these are eight box cases, so I suppose you can do the math there. Every, one every, not common, but not impossible. We got another case in the store Ladies and gentlemen, so get your teams before someone else does. A little summer league action on in the background. Minnesota versus Utah. Utah's up by three. Saw the home run derby. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is your 2023 home run derby winner. Fending off uh, Randy Arzarena. Uh, let's see if we can find some gold for Phil. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies a little bit this week bothering me here, but not bothered by this break. Warren Walker having a real solid season for the Cardinals. That'll be for Guy. And there's our autograph, Brian Servant. It'll be for the Rocks. That's going to go to Eric, Eric M. with the Rockies. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this, too, along with any lowered number stuff that we might stumble into. We got Seiya Suzuki, 128 out of 175. Aqua Shimmer for Darren and the Cubbies. We got Anthony Volpe heating back up again. That's good. Corbin Carroll, I think he had some injury, apparently, that's not as bad as originally thought. That's a good sign. Here's Gabriel Moreno to 250 for Tristan and the Diamondbacks. He'll get all those Corbin Carrolls. We got Austin Riley to 99. That'll be for the Braves, Jeremy. And we got Bubba Thompson. Autog rookie autograph for the Rangers. That's going to be for Russell. There's your home run derby winner right there. All cards ship. Adley Rushman had some nice, uh, nice hits too, but did not get out of that first round. There's Shane Bieber to 150. That'll be for Chris and Cleveland. All 
All right, next. We got the All Star game tomorrow. Anyone have any have any early thoughts or opinion on the All Star game? I don't know. Not terribly exciting, is it? Marlins reinstate righty Cueto from the sixty day IL. Oh yeah, now, Sean Casey's the new hitting coach for the Yankees. I think most people saw that. This is something that I just saw as I was on my dinner break. It's a report from Reuters with some Otani quotes through his interpreter. If the season ended today, the Los Angeles Angels would miss the playoffs for the ninth eighth season. That includes all six seasons since signing all-star Shohei Otani. The two-way superstar will become a free agent at the end of the season. And although he shed little light on what he thought of his long-term future, Otani did say ahead of the all-star game in Seattle that his desire to play on a winning club, quote, gets stronger with each passing year. Otani, 29, was asked Monday whether reaching the playoffs would become a higher priority as he sorts out his future. Quote, those feelings get stronger year by year, Otani said through his interpreter, Mizuhara. It sucks to lose. He wants to win, so it gets stronger every year. What, is it, what does that mean? Who knows? I don't think... I'm looking, Phil. I don't know if they... Oh, they did announce starting pitchers. Uh, Zach Gallen for the NL and Garrett Cole for the AL. There's Carlos Perez for the White Sox. It's going to go to Phil. That's for you, Phil. Won that team in the filler... The Phil Filler. And there's Say Suzuki, 15 out of 25. Now, Otani looks like, sounds like he wants out. Unless the Angels become major buyers at the trading deadline in an effort to keep him. To allow him to convince him to stay, that's a possibility, I guess. But I mean, the article states that in the six seasons that he's been in, in, in on the, on the major league team, that they've never been to a playoff. Here's Anthony Volpe, Aqua, one thirty-eight out of one ninety-nine for Daniel and the Yankees. And nice, look at that. Old school Oriole, Jim Palmer, five out of 25. Nice little color match there as well. Daniel Smith, Orioles, nice. It is a shame, Phil. It would have been cool to see him and Mike Trout, you know, hitting game-winning home runs in the playoffs. Here's a Jonathan Aranda to 250. That will be for the Rays. That's going to go to Tristan. But, you know, that the as long as Artie Moreno owns that team, there's Trout right there. And there's Bobby Wood Jr., 75. I don't know if it's ever going to get better unless they just luck into drafting some superstars and they, they win within that window. Box. The Bobby Wood Jr. is 75 going to the Royals. That'll be for Daniel. Uh, as, a, as a Dodger fan, I would prefer Freeman and Betts win to meaningful games in October. And then maybe Freeman, Betts, and Otani in 2024. I have not, Chad. Not yet, anyway. Chance is mostly it's been injuries than anything for the Halos. Yeah, injuries. Also, putting money into uh, getting expensive long-term contracts to 
Alva Pujols, Josh Hamilton, you know, Anthony Rendon. Poor drafting for the better part of his tenure there. Poor, poor front office, poor deals getting done. The inability to construct a good roster. <laughs> yeah, that and injuries, but mostly the other stuff. <laughs> Every team has injuries. The inability to uh, inability to build a proper, a decent starting rotation. Their bullpen has been terrible for years. They haven't been able to construct anything there. How you know? I think they ever should have fired Mike Sosha, or did he retire? You know, but their management has been a bit of a mess since Mike Sosha. Ownership is terrible. That front office is among the smallest front offices in Major League Baseball. I think the Dodgers front office is at least twice the size of the Angels front office. That means a better front office, a stronger front office, more people working on things. That's been an issue. Not entirely sure that how good that minor league system is. Here's Alex Call. Going to Mike, the Nationals. But yeah, the the Jan the Halos issues are definitely long term organizational issues, not Matthew Libertor to three hundred. Not necessarily the unfortunate injury here and there. A lot of teams have injuries. It doesn't tank their season. Here's Nolan Gorman to 125. There's Vaughn Grissom to 199. Nolan Gorman will go to the guy in the Cardinals. Vaughn Grissom will go to the Braves. Jeremy Port. And there's Riley Green. One of the, uh, one of the Tigers' top prospects. That's going to go to Stephen Carney in Detroit. Ron Lacuna Jr. to 175. Uh, uh, Rex is saying Strowman opted out of the All Star game. Says he wants to stay fresh. Stay fresh? For what? Oh, for when he gets traded to another team. He gets traded to the Dodgers and helps lead them to. Postseason glory. I like that. I like his thinking. Yeah, I do remember that day. A couple years ago, Angels did pay, did draft on pretty much all pitchers, if not all pitchers, in all the all the rounds. Shannon's thinking that since he, since he has a small front office, but they focus on the farm system more than big trades. Yeah, I mean. So I agree. I mean, if the Angels aren't going to have a large farm system or a large front office, you know, maybe they should be focusing on the farm system, which they haven't done. Big front office isn't just about making trades, though, Jen. Big front office means includes the scouting departments. You know, and analysts, data analysts, all, all that sort of stuff that are able to identify talent across all levels. Yeah, after the All-Star game, what? Until, doesn't start up until Bastille Day, July 14th, which is a... Uh, leads to a very boring part of the week. I guess there's summer league basketball that we can watch.
There's Otani. Speaking of Otani, where does he end up? Do, I mean, the Angels should trade him. Do they trade him? What do you do if you're the Angels? I feel like it's a no-win situation. There's Garrett Cole to 300 for the Yankees. For Daniel Smith. If you trade Otani, then you're the team that traded Otani. You're really not going to get, for a two-month rental, you're really not going to get full value in return. Here's Jacob DeGrom to 199. And a chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. Going to Jeremy and the Braves. But then you, you just can't let him walk in free agency and get nothing for him. That's, that's a tough pill to swallow as well. And there's Kodai Senga for the Metropolitan. That's going to go to Joe Ivers and his Mets. And Aaron Judge, 250. Love a new hitting coach, Sean Casey. All right, next box. Listen to Otani, see if he wants to go to free agency or trade him in December at the winter meeting. You can not trade him in December at the winter meeting because after the last game of the season, Jan, he's a free agent. No longer an angel employee. They can't trade him in December. That's the rub. They probably should have traded him last year. If they traded him last December in the winter meetings, that's probably the biggest haul they can get in terms of assets going back. That's right, Rex. It's <laughs> what do you do? Something or nothing? He doesn't want. He doesn't want to stay now. I don't think he believes the Angels as a playoff team. So Yanks got the, the mayor? John Mayor? Oh, Sean Casey, the mayor? Is that what they call him? Yeah, they hired him as a hitting coach. They fired their hitting coach, but kept all his assistants. And they hired Sean Casey. I guess he was called the mayor, nicknamed the mayor, right? I don't know. Someone had to take the fall, I guess. There's uh, Brett Beatty, Lava, 37 out of 100. Going to the Mets, that's gonna go to Joe. And there's Nick Prado, rookies, rookie auto, 87 out of 99. For Kansas City, that'll be for Daniel. I mean, with Otani, I, I've, I don't know what, what I would do if I was in the Angels' front office. There's Ken Waldachuk, 34 out of 50. There's Julio Rodriguez and Caleb Killian. First of all, there's Julio right here, 48 out of 125. For Seattle, that's for Daniel. And the autograph is for the Cubs. Caleb Killian, rookie auto. 
for Darren McKenzie. Rex is our big Cubs fan here. Rex, tell us about Caleb Killian. What, what, what do we know about him? Do you have a good Caleb Killian story for us? Vaughn Grissom, that's to 300. That'll be for Jeremy and the Braves. There's an independent team near or in Kansas City who took the Negro League team name of the Monarchs as their own with the blessing from the Negro League Museum there in KC. Nice. It's a spot I wanna wanna check out. I think they only just recently opened that museum. I'm a museum guy, I enjoy the museum. Do do you agree that even though Otani is Otani and doing well, can we say the Angels failed him? I think, I mean, I think they did. Rex doesn't know much about Caleb Killian, but your stepbrother's ex is married to Caleb Killian's cousin. Nice. Your stepbrother's ex married to Caleb Killian's cousin. I think I can I can wrap my head around that. Yeah, Phil agrees. And yeah, I think they might have failed Trout too. Although Trout knows what that organization is about. And he took the money. What does that say about Mike? What did I say about Mike Trout? He doesn't care about winning? He just cares about money? You don't think in the open market he could have gotten the same contract, but probably from a, a contender? There's Max Castillo. Kansas City, that will be for Daniel. Logan O'Hawk, speaking of the Angels, 87 out of 99. That'll be for Phil. And there's Corbin Carroll, rookies. I think that might just be like a black gold sort of parallel, something like that. Looks pretty sharp though. Tristan with that one. There's Adley Rushman in the O's. Daniel with the Orioles. Some Jordan Walker rookie card. Josh Young's having a nice season too. Cal Mitchell to 250. Oh, is that considered a case hit? That all right? I like that. Diamondbacks. That's going to be Tristan. All these Josh Youngs will go to uh, Russell and the Rangers. Some Jordan Walkers for Guy and the Cardinals. Ah, GNC saying. Kinsakori or something like that. There's Michael Conforto to 250. And Oscar Colas autograph. Conforto for Guy and the San Francisco Baseball Giants. And the Oscar Colas Green, 57 out of 99. Black gold is a case hit. Red gold is a 1 in 15 case hit. Wow. And with one of the top rookies, it's pretty nice. Huge hit 
So, you know, what, is that, what, what do you think that goes for? What does this Corbin Carroll go for in the secondary market? Jacob DeGrom to 300. <laughs> Mookie gave it his best shot in the, uh, in the home run derby. He's got that in-game power. In-game power. Has the NL really won the last five All-Star games? I'm just looking at this GameCast page on ESPN. Looks like it. Wow, someone's already, Chad's saying, someone's already asking 500 for that Corbin Carroll. That's not bad, Tristan. Oh, it's your games tomorrow at 5 o'clock LA time. 8 o'clock East Coast. The line is uh, even. Basically even money. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Got a Manny Machado purple for the Padres for Daniel with a spot that he won, the team that he won. There's Gunnar Henderson, rookie silver, rookie refractor going to Daniel and the Orioles. Adley Rushman, and Ezekiel Duran, 18 out of 99 rookies, green shimmer autograph. Chad did some math, and there are about six copies of each red gold in the product. That means there's about 90 total on the black golds, give or take. That's pretty awesome. Looks really sharp too. Good looking design. Do, Chad, do I remember you telling me uh, many moons ago that Finest is like your absolute favorite product, baseball product, if not just outright everything? There is Matthew Batten, 48 out of 150. For the Padres, that's going to go to Daniel. It's Javier Baez, 150, and another Matthew Batten. This time just a refractor autograph. There you go. Finest and finest flashbacks are probably your favorite baseball product. And Mosaic's your favorite football product. There's Javi for Detroit. That's going to go to Steven. And how do you like this year's finest?
Yeah, I think Topps Chrome Black is also, it's really nice, also underrated. We had that, not too long, maybe a couple months ago, we did have a run where, where we were doing like two or three Topps Chrome Black cases a day. And we were just, it was like a week or two stretch where we were doing that. And um, yeah, people were buying them out straight up too, like straight up no fillers. So yeah, pretty underrated I think. Drew Rasmussen to undergo season-ending surgery. I was kind of hoping he'd come back off the IL. My fantasy baseball team needs him. You've watched about 15 cases. You haven't seen a single Jordan Walker autograph and none on eBay, even though he's on the checklist. So you're disappointed on that, but you love the parallels and the overall checklist. Yeah, I think it's... It is a uh, it's a classic product, definitely a flagship product for Tops. They don't want to think they do their best on this. Maybe a little extra attention gets uh, maybe a little extra attention gets put on it. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's Byron Bucks into 300. Final box. That's for Phil and the Twins. We got Jordan Alvarez to 175. Aqua Shimmer for the Astros. That's for Ed. And the autograph is going to be Grayson Rodriguez. Nice. 95 out of 99, rookie auto for the Orioles. Daniel Smith bought the O's straight up. Look at that, look at that sort of smile on Reese Hoskins' face. He has the look of, uh, a look of a person that just jukes someone in a game of tag. And I was like, ha ha, can't catch me. It's Hunter Green. Green, Lava, 31 out of 99. That's for Cincinnati, that'll be for David H. Another Corbin Careful Tristan. I got Simeon Woods Richardson to 250. And a Masataka Yoshida rookie autograph. I think he was or is still the favorite for AL Rookie of the Year. Ed P with the Boston Red Sox. And there you have it, boys and girls. Another nice. Top's finest break in the books. Got another case in the store. With a little luck, we might be able to run another one back tonight, and then I can post another one. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice color, some nice on-card autographs, and some old school guys in the mix as well. So a lot of fun stuff. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break.